I know what you might be thinking. But Jade, how could you post whatever you want? Doesn't being an influencer mean you have to know your algorithms? You gotta know your angles? You gotta use the right filter. Let me tell you, I don't know about you, but sometimes I get a lot of anxiety before I post something on Instagram. I care a lot of what people think, or I just don't want to fuck up my engagement. I know, first world problem. But this is a real thing where I get so paralyzed in what people think about me and making sure I look good that I don't even look authentic online. Like I'm so fucking pretentious, but honestly, I'm sick of that. Okay, the reason being is because I feel like social media is a place for us to connect and share a message. It's to bring people together, not push people apart. Well, what the fuck are we doing posting our fakest version of ourselves, Facetune, Photoshopped? I just don't think it makes sense. Which is why in today's video, I tried posting whatever I wanted for a week. Did I lose followers? Did I get less likes? You're about to find out. All you gotta do if you wanna know is keep on watching. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jade, and today, we're gonna go over what happened when I posted everything I wanted in one week. I think the initial fear people have is their engagement dropping. Cause I remember when I first started out my journey, I, that, that was end. I remember when I was in high school, if you got less likes on a selfie than your last selfie, you officially downgraded in life. Like you always had to keep growing or else you just were fucking ugly. No likes equals you're fucking ugly. But now I actually hear you guys complaining that you're losing engagement. And I just think that it is not that big of a deal. So I went out of my way to just give myself a week to just really face my biggest fear. Okay, so day one, I decided to basically take some photos at Disneyland. Now, that doesn't sound scary, but let me tell you a little context. I have this vision online that I want to be taken very seriously. Like, what the fuck, I'm wearing a blazer. I'm 17 years old. Like, I probably look a little pretentious right now. But I always like looking professional and serious because that's just what I like to do. Now, going to Disneyland and posting pictures in a place that's really silly and fun isn't really my brand. I kid you not, it's a big fear for me to look stupid online because frankly, your image really affects your business and I don't want to affect my company in any sort of way. I'm building an app, I have a team, I also have clients and I just don't want to look stupid. I know that's not so shallow. I decided that, you know what, fuck that shit. So we went to Disneyland. I went with my friends Jen and Damien and we took poses and pictures that I would never typically post. There was a point where they didn't even get the vision that I had. Do you get the vibe? Is that a good idea, Damien? What do you think? I mean, <laughs> if we were not in a park with rails. That's like an edgy vibe, you know? Like this? Oh. No, that's, that's it right there. Oh, really? okay. Okay, no, you don't think I don't it's a good idea? It's not my vibe. I don't know what, I don't. I don't get it. Okay, and something I want to realize is like when you post whatever you want, it's just something that makes you happy because it's fun creating. So basically, I posted this picture with the caption saying, Welcome to Roasting Instagram Part 2, the classic Disneyland picture. As a baseline, typically, if I post a photo that's professional or on brand, I should hit 7,000 to 10,000 likes. Everyone has different baselines. Now, Anything that below it scares the shit out of me. They used to really affect me. But looking at this, yeah, I got a decent less visibility or likes, but the comments engagement were really real. I'm reading comments from you guys who are watching and amazing viewers saying things like, I relate. So to recap for this photo, I just found that yes, I had 19% decrease in discoverability, but tremendous increase in the comments and engagement. All right, so day two. I basically posted something that was controversial. It was a photo of me that's professional and things that I like, but the caption was a little bit on edge. So this photo is a picture of me on my desk when I was in Bali. And I basically just told you guys my biggest insecurity. I have a weird insecurity of not working hard enough. Maybe you relate, but if someone compliments you for a certain thing, it's almost like hurting you because you almost want to live up to that every single time. For example, if you have nice eyebrows, you almost have to have nice eyebrows or else you're not who the fuck am I? Like you lose your identity. It's hard because I make content online and it's almost important for me to keep up with my brand and that just sounds so, sh so fucking shallow. We have certain titles and labels that people put on us and we have to live up to it because if not, who are we? So I went out of my way to just really strip away that fucking limiting belief. And I wrote down my biggest insecurity, which is feeling like I have to always work hard. And after I really opened up, 
I really got so much support from you guys. And here's the thing, you guys. I actually hit the same amount of likes as the last photo. So that meant that people that stayed, stayed. And my comments also maintained. I was so afraid that I had to put on a perfect persona, but nothing changed. And my engagement for day two stayed the same. Day three. All right, so basically the rest of the week, I was posting more on stories. You guys should follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. And if you're so far enjoying this concept or video, please give this video a like to maybe let me know that you like this content. Because if not, then I'll make some better shit. Anyways, I want to share this last day because like instead of just business and Instagram hacks, I think I started to just realize that I want to connect with you a little deeper, not just fucking be, you know, a puppet show. And I know this is really weird because you guys know that I follow the algorithm trends to a T to help you guys. But to be honest, there's a certain point where you actually realize that you start defeating the purpose of social media, which is connecting with people. Our lives are connected. And whether we're welcoming a refugee fleeing war or an immigrant seeking new opportunity, I hope that we have the courage to see that the path forward is to bring people together, not push people apart, to connect more, not less. Personally, for me, I realized that I was putting on a facade, not that was extreme or irrelevant, but I was trying to be perfect online, and it hurt me because I couldn't say things I wanted. For this post, I actually posted something that wasn't really high quality. It was just a photo of me speaking on a stage. If you guys saw, about a month ago, I was speaking at the University of Austin, Texas for a conference about marketing and Instagram, and it wasn't the best high quality photo. In fact, it's like one of the worst photos I posted, and it wasn't anything crazy. And my caption was just simple. Do what scares you the most. For the final result, one you've been waiting for, this photo got 50% less likes than any other photo I posted. Like, it had a lot of likes, and I'm thankful for the 3,884 people, but I know so often we get so caught up in how much things decrease, and let me tell you, it's not that fucking bad because you have to realize why you're doing something. Is that people don't buy what you do, people buy why you do it. But I realized after facing that fact is yes, I started to question if I was super good at Instagram anymore because I got less like. I started to question if I was even making the right content. But I had to ask myself was why am I posting in the first place? Am I posting just to beat a number and for my ego? Or am I posting to help others and to do something and create things I like? Because the moment your why becomes an artificial goal, you don't know why you're doing things and you start to give up. And I know a lot of you guys who have YouTube channels or Instagram accounts that you want to grow, really give up and stop being consistent. If you want to be consistent, you got to know the right why. I feel like so often the biggest fear you guys have is to just keep losing followers and likes. And yeah, I did. I lost a few people, but realize those people were never there for you in the beginning and they're never going to stay with you. The true people you're going to connect with, the audience you're building will stay regardless of your content. If you truly want to make impact, not just for your ego, for your influence, you need to be able to be real and authentic. And sometimes it requires you to lose a few people. But if you don't know why you do what you do, and people respond to why you do what you do, then how will anybody, how will you ever get people to, 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 to vote for you or buy something from you, or more importantly, be loyal? Also, even after this experiment, I even posted photos like this, where it wasn't my face, or anything. It got tremendous less likes. But here's the thing, this topic that I posted was something also passionate to me. Data and computer science and the next future of social media is so fascinating to me and I don't care if it turns away people because I know the people that will like it are the ones that are still with me and for me. I'm not trying to use social media to make everyone happy. I'm using social to make my message clear and to help others. Stop fucking giving a shit about people and followers that don't give a shit about you and prioritize the people that do. Take a risk and use social media like it's for. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Now, if you enjoyed it, I would love to hear your thoughts and leave a comment below. Also, shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you want to be the next comment winner, all you got to do is just comment below if you've ever felt really scared to post something and what prevented you from doing it. Be you. Beach root. I love you guys. Um, I'll catch you guys in my next video. I actually have so much planned. My company PBJ app is launching something very special on April 1st. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram if you want to know more. All right. For everyone that's sticking through the end, thank you so much. Comment hashtag Darmination if you're here because you guys are amazing. I love you. I love See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.
Okay, so call me crazy, but yesterday I was saying that Google and Facebook basically own all our data and we deserve to have a piece of it. Now, a lot of people were saying, Jade, you're a greedy bitch.